He did it. Holy He's out. He's out. Holy That's so easy. Holy That's so easy. <laughs> I call second round too. That's so easy. So easy. Lock of the week, motherfuckers. It was 114 degrees yesterday, 114. It has been ungodly hot here in North Texas and God knows what hellscape we are going to get later today, which means we have to get an early start on our day. If you are new here, this is the Fight Foods vlog. For every single pay-per-view, I take you along with me, we hang out, we cook some really good food, we have some friends over, and we watch our fights. I got an early start to the day. I started to finalize my UFC Singapore notes. I've got my second cup of coffee brewing. So let's go inside, grab that coffee, finish up some graphics. I'm probably gonna take these kids fishing. Then we gotta figure out what we're gonna cook later. And then Jacob and the rest of the fellas are fellas. And the rest of my friends, the boys, the guys, then people are coming over to watch these fights. Come along, let's hang out. We're ready. Time to catch some dinner. We got the tackle box, the frozen fishing pole, the, the Moana, Moana fishing, fishing pole. pole, and we're ready to go, ladies. Daddy and speaker. And speaker. Let's go ahead and catch ourselves some dinner. Got something. Uh oh. Whoa. It's a turtle. a turtle. It's a turtle. Let me get the pliers. All right, girls, you caught a turtle. We got the hook out. Turtle's safe. You wanna touch him? There you go. <laughs> Wash your hands. All right, let him go. Bye, bud. Bye. Bye, bud. We were catching turtles. So let's move to the next pond and see if we can get an actual fish. Let's go, ladies. Pond number two. Why are we yelling at the birds? Oh, I see a whole bunch of fish right here. We are using sausage for bait because I'm not a country boy. Oh, look at them girls. They are waiting for the food. Let's catch one and eat it. No, we're not gonna eat it. Yeah, of course not. Olivia caught a fish. Well, another turtle, that's what I mean. So now my dad has to cut it. And it's stuck, and this time it's stuck on its flipper. Got it. The turtles are chasing the bobber. And now they're going to chase hers. No turtles. We're not trying to catch a turtle, girls. We're no turtle soup for dinner. Not yet. Not yet. You got one, reel it in. Let's go. Oh, that's a beast. This is a beast. Your arms are gonna get tired. Here we go, pull it up. Let me take it off the hook for you. Well, let me get it off the hook. I'll throw it in. Put it in. You got one. Oh, come on, reel. You got it. Good job, big girl. Keep going. Walk to it and hold it up. That is a fat one. That is a fat one. All right, let me get the hook out. It's a bad day to be a turtle. Bye, turtle. Olivia caught two turtles and one fish, and I got two fish. Bye, turtle. So, and Olivia's <laughs> crying because she only got one Yo, fish, but she got snitch. three things. Yo, snitch. So we're heading home. We're going to clean up. we got to wash these dirty hands, Bye -bye, get a little bit of lunch. Turtle. Then we got to figure out what we are cooking for our friends. We got back from fishing. The wife had to head out to work. She's a nurse, so she does have to work every other weekend. So she's heading to work. I made the kids some sandwiches. I put them down for quiet. Well, one takes a nap, the other one does quiet time. I'm basically living that single mom life, so let's get some chores done and get on with our day. 
I was born three months too early The doctor gave me 30 days But I must have had my mama's will And God's amazing grace I guess I'll keep on living Even if this love's to die for Cause your bags are packed and I ain't crying You're walking out and I'm not trying To change your mind cause I was a born to be The baby girl without a chance A victim of circumstance The one who ought to give up But she's just too hard-headed A single mom who works two jobs Who loves her kids and never stops with gentle hands and the heart of a fighter I'm a survivor Nap time's over, the chores are done I'm gonna head to the media room and do a little bit of a project If you remember, this is my media room This is where we watch our fights that's where Jacob lays down and gets a nice little cozy blanket. But in here, the big issue last time or last pay-per-view was we only had one air vent in this big ass room, but I have since added another air vent. So when a bunch of grown men eating food and yelling at the TV, it's not gonna get too hot in here. But now what I need to do, I need to add a curtain. I already bought the rod, but my wife's gotta find some blackout curtains. Right now, this is a 70, five inch TV, I wanna put either a 98 inch TV or a 120 inch projector, but that's a project for down the line. Right now we have this closet in here. It is basically a linen closet. Eventually we're gonna get this built out, it's gonna turn into a kitchen. I'm not handy, so we have to hire someone to do that. What I'm gonna do today though, is I'm gonna knock this shelf out. We're gonna drill a two inch hole back here, and we're gonna go ahead and put this cap in and the reason we're gonna do that is because whatever food I have going on later, at least we're able to stack it up here. Kind of a, just a makeshift coffee bar, but for food for now. Eventually, I'll have Bob Vila come over here and do it the right way, but for now, it's me with a hammer and a two inch hole saw. Here's the pain in my ass right now. It's loose, it's gone, we gotta clean all this shit up. But this was built, it's custom built. It's perfectly fit, I'm not gonna be able to pull it out. I was hoping to get it on an angle, not gonna happen. So we're gonna go get a circular saw and re-cut this bitch in half, and then we'll get it out of here. Now we have all this space to work with. I'm gonna see if I can get this off without just absolutely making a massive mess. But you can see there's a whole bunch of brad nails in here. So, eh, that's probably gonna be a bitch. But we'll see if I can get them off easily. We'll sand it, drill our hole, and then we can plug in a crock pot or whatever the hell so I need to be plugged in up there. dust everywhere. I'm sure Jacob's nerd allergies are gonna act up when he gets here, but I don't have a two inch hole saw. So we're gonna run the Home Depot, I'm gonna get a two inch hole saw bit, drill that hole, get that going, and then a whole lot of dusting. So let's head to the store and get all the parts we need. Are you ready? 
nice break from the heat. It's 112 degrees. Well, yesterday it was 114. How about half glass full today? Positivity vibes, Aves. Let's say safety parlay. No. Okay. Well, support would have been nice. We got our booze. We got our two inch hole saw attachment. We got the ingredients for the super hot Mexican corn dip. I'll show you how to make that in a minute. Now we're gonna drill the hole, add the uh, wire cover, whatever you wanna call this. Then I'm gonna take a shower. Then we're gonna start cooking. Jacob will be here and let's watch some fights. I had it spinning the wrong way. Let's try this again, spinning in the correct direction. What the fuck? What is this made out of? Jesus Christ. Fucking put it on drill, motherfucker. Let's go fast. Yes. That was a fucking pain in the ass, wasn't it? Clean this up, clean myself up, and we'll uh, start cooking before Jacob gets here. Oh, baby Ooh, Jay. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear the bell ring. No, it's fine. Oh, Welcome donuts. Welcome to the sugar show. Oh, sugar show. Look at this. What's in this? Oh, you had a rough week, so... Am I opening this on the... Is this a Bible? No, you had a rough week, so I figured uh, I could tell while you open it. All right, let's open it. There you go. Pop that baby open. Just for you on this very exciting week that we had. Something fell. Oh, I don't know what that was. A penny. Oh, here we go. Building websites for dummies. Thank you so much. Just in case for next time. Is there a uh, keep a website up for dummies? We can just ship it to GoDaddy's home office? No, but I think there's a special don't get hacked edition. Look that at back, this. Just in case for next time. Olivia, read this and then we'll... Well, thanks, Jake. <laughs> no problem. Jacob hits oh, his hedge God. bet on Karini Silva. First Final round submission. Distance. You remember the odds? Uh, plus 375. Nice. Starting off nice, boys. Starting off nice. It's been a rough week. I'm not doing a big extravagant meal. I'm gonna order a whole bunch of wing stop. But we are gonna make this like spicy Mexican corn dip. So I stole this from uh, our neighbors, the man. So Kayla Mann, shout out to you. You're not watching this. But that's where I'm stealing this recipe from. It is two cans of Mexican corn, cup of sour cream, cup of mayo, 10 ounces of shredded cheese, a whole can of diced green chilies, four jalapenos, and you're not doing like weird zoom-ins, are you? I don't think so. I, it's, it's probably so fun. And three uh, green onions or scallions. Mix it all up, all this gets drained. Mix it all up, stir it, keep it in the fridge for a little bit, and then we're good to go. So we're gonna start cutting, we're gonna start prepping. These, you take the seeds out, and we're gonna get mixed. Shut it off. Fucking goddamn. Natalia Silva just dominated. First leg of the safety parlay. I got another parlay with her and Petrovsky. Jacob's gonna film me finishing cutting and mixing. That's what Jacob's gonna do. That's oh. my girl. Yes, no. Hold on a second. Did she 
just make sure we get a good shot of her. Oh, she's not even looking. Oh, that's my girl. <laughs> that's my girl. Okay, there we go. All right, we're just cutting up some of the scallions. Or green onions, whatever you want to call them. Turn around. Done. That's enough. These suck. Now we're going to throw it in here. She just asked Jesus to let her live her dream. And we're just going to mix. We're just going to mix. And this is our spicy Mexican corn dip with green chilies, jalapenos. Turn around, creep. Green chilies, jalapenos, shredded cheese, and a few other things. We're waiting for the Petrovsky Mearshart decision. It's taking forever. Let's see what this is. Should be 29 28. It's a split. Oh, he's always wrong. Sally Dean's always wrong. We're good. Sally Dean's always wrong. Come on. Andre. Yes, yeah, it is Sally. Wrong. Sally Dean's always wrong. That dumb bastard. All right, my first parlay of the night hit. Good day so far. We haven't missed anything yet. Here's my take on Andre Petrosky. His striking absolutely sucks. His cardio is not great. But he has surprisingly good fight IQ. There were a few moments there where he absolutely made the right decision. He bailed on trying to finish Mearshart when he knew it wouldn't happen. He bailed on a takedown when it felt like he was going to guillotine. So Andre Petrovsky's got some solid fight IQ. Calling out Bo Nickel's the biggest mistake. He'll, like Bo Nickel will murder this kid. But if he gets those hands working, goes to a different gym, gets his cardio, maybe lean down a little bit, Petrovsky could be good. So I don't know. Who's next? Tough fights. The tough fights, I got Cantana, so let's see how that goes. So far, so good. Why are you, what are you, I'm not doing anything, dude. I'm just laughing like a fucking idiot. <laughs> just the way this goes, man. Go All ahead, right. you're on. We've been killing it so far. Hopefully this is not gonna end up being a jinx. We're about to find out later today if this is a jinx. Hit every single pick so far. I've hit every single bet so far. The last one I hit was Brad Cantana. I don't have a bet on this Greg Rodriguez fight. So I'm gonna celebrate an incredibly stressful week. Everything's perfect right now. We got the Sunny D vodka seltzers. These are very good. And a Kraken. I shouldn't do this until I get a sponsorship, but let's see if we can get a sponsorship. Nothing like funneling a drink as an adult. What a fucking mess that was. Three, two. You're doing great, sweetie. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. How are we doing? Up? What's up? The so dog just decided to see you. Is it just dudes that watch this channel or is there chicks too? No, it's just dudes. Okay. That's cool. We're locked into the media room. Main card's about yeah. to start. That's how Jacob acts when he's not on stream. He's got his blankie. Casey's all toned in. Everybody's comfortable. Waiting for some others. I have my very expensive Japanese whiskey and we're ready for this. Cheeto. Cheeto. Beaky, 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 beaky. What do you think? We got it, Scout? We got it, Scout? Huh? The Wei Lee parlay's still alive? That was a close fight. 30 27 was a bit much, but I'll take it all day. You think it was a 30 27? Yes. All right, well, there it is. Whaley wins, and uh, I'm slapping. I'm slapping with these bets. He just spit all over the cup. Man. Dude, Damon Blackshear not being tired in this fight is absolutely insane. Batista minus 150. Dude, you tell me who looks more tired right now. Wait, you said Batista's minus 150 right now? Yeah, he's winning the fight. Is that <laughs> is he really minus 150, though? Yeah, he's minus 150. That's insane. Casey, is this not a dominant performance right now from Damon Blackshear? It's all... I, there's not a world where it's anything other than two old blacks here. It's two old Batista. Okay, this is this this is your king. This is your king. This is your king. There we go. I think Demond twenty nine twenty eight. Thirty twenty seven. Batista. Then it's gotta be Batista. That's the worst decision of the night, dude. What? So I told you guys. 
dominating. Dude, how the fuck did he dominate? Dude, Demond Black so Shears taking him down, pouring on the pressure. That was a bad decision. No, and I picked not. right. I'm about to have a perfect pick. Dude, the live odds were all for Batista. You're the, you're the two of the only ones. He's getting taken down. He's backing up. That made no sense. Great win, Mario. Yeah, he looked terrible. Great win, Mario. This Mario kid, like, absolutely. And his weird female coach there. Let's go. Just light that leg up, dude. He's two leg kicks away from a TKO. Oh, Ooh. stop it, Keith. Keith, stop it. Stop it, Keith. Stop it, Keith. Let's go. Stop it, Keith. I can't walk, Keith. He's got a family. <laughs> He's got a family. Do it. Do it again. It's there. Dude, it's, it's just play, just Do send it. the kicks, man. Do me. Right yes. Oh, Keith. Another one. Another one. Kick him again. He'll stop it. He really, stop he it. really doesn't want the leg kick TK up. He's I like know. actively not going for it. I know. <laughs> Do it! He's gonna stop if he lands one more. Let's go! Do it, Gary! Come on, Ian! He's not. He's not. What the fuck is going on? Oh. Kick his fucking leg! Boom! Oh! Nothing. What the fuck? There we go. Thirty twenty-four. Safety parlay cashes for what? The two hundredth week in a row. Solid card, boys. I'm two wins away from a perfect card. And Amanda Lamosh is getting pummeled, 158 strikes to nine strikes. And Amanda Lamosh's corner advice is she's getting tired. Absolute nonsense. This main event comes down to if Purple Hair wins, Jacob hits his lock of the week. If he loses, I picked a perfect card. This is going to be a tight one. I'm on the edge of my seat, ready to go. This is Jacob. Cuddling with my fat dog. This is, that's your short king? That's who you trust with your with your lock of the week? He did it. Holy shit. He's out, he's out. Holy yeah. shit. That's so easy. That's so easy. <laughs> that shit's so, I call second round too. That shit's so easy. So easy, lock of the week, motherfuckers. Holy shit. Yeah. Scout. Holy shit. Wow. There goes my perfect Second card, but good for you. I just won fucking four grand, motherfuckers. Let's go. Oh, yeah, man. Four Four huh? That's four right. Days. Holy shit. Let's see you, boys. See you, man. Right. Thanks see for another man. successful. Adios. Don't ever do this, Jacob. Another successful paper. Adios. Day, I'll learn. See you turns for 293.